Welcome to Victory Education Lounge. Today we're unlocking the secrets to acing the USMLE Step 2 CK as a foreign medical graduate. Our goal is to provide you with the best strategies, resources, and timelines to conquer this significant milestone. This channel is your one-stop shop for all things USMLE Step 2 CK. We're here to guide you, whether you're just beginning your journey or looking for that extra push to cross the finish line. Victory Education Lounge is more than just a channel. It's a community, a community that thrives on sharing knowledge, experiences, and success stories. So if you're new here, please don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and drop a comment below. Your support helps us grow and continue providing valuable guidance to aspiring doctors around the globe. Whether you're just starting or looking for that extra edge, you're in the right place. Scene Script First, let's understand what the USMLE Step 2 CK really is. The United States Medical Licensing Examination, or USMLE, is a three-step examination for medical licensure in the United States. Today we're focusing on the second step, known as the Step 2 Clinical Knowledge, or CK. This exam is essential for all aspiring doctors, but it holds particular significance for foreign medical graduates. Why? Because it's the gateway to practicing medicine in the United States. Now you might be wondering what's the difference between Step 1 and Step 2 CK? Good question! While Step 1 is about understanding the basic sciences, Step 2 CK shifts the focus to clinical sciences. It's all about applying medical knowledge and understanding in the context of patient care. Think of it as the bridge between the classroom and the clinic. In Step 2 CK, you'll be tested on your ability to diagnose and manage health conditions in a clinical setting. It will assess how well you can gather information from patients, interpret medical records, and make sound clinical decisions. This means you'll need a solid grasp of patient-centered skills, such as physical examination, diagnostic testing, and patient counseling. As a foreign medical graduate, acing Step 2 CK is a critical step in your journey. It's your chance to demonstrate that you're ready to meet the demands of clinical practice in the United States. It's not just about memorizing facts and figures, but about understanding how to use that knowledge to provide high-quality care to patients. But remember, it's not an insurmountable task. With the right preparation and resources, you can shine in Step 2 CK. It's all about understanding the material, practicing your skills, and getting familiar with the exam format. And that's where we come in. Mastering the clinical knowledge and skills is the key to acing the USMLE Step 2 CK. So, let's dive into the strategies and resources that will help you conquer this exam and move one step closer to your dream of practicing medicine in the United States. Choosing the right study guides can make a huge difference in your preparation. Let's explore the best places to find these essential resources. The digital world is a treasure trove of study guides. Online platforms like Amazon or the Google Bookstore offer a plethora of options with reviews to help you make a well-informed decision. Additionally, many medical education websites provide downloadable guides and resources. However, don't overlook the traditional brick-and-mortar bookstores. They often have sections dedicated to medical education, and browsing physical copies of books allows you to get a real feel for their content and layout before making a purchase. One study guide that is highly recommended by many is First Aid for the USMLE Step 2 CK. This comprehensive guide, which has been meticulously updated over the years, covers all topics in the Step 2 Clinical Knowledge Exam. It's designed to provide the highest yield facts, making it an invaluable resource in your study arsenal. Yet, First Aid isn't the only guide out there. Other recommended resources include Master the Board's USMLE Step 2 CK, and step up to USMLE Step 2 CK. Each of these guides has its unique strengths and presentation styles. Master the Boards is known for its clear, concise explanations, while Step Up offers a systems-based review and includes numerous charts and diagrams for visual learners. Choosing the right study guide ultimately depends on your learning style. Some prefer a text-heavy guide, while others might opt for one with more diagrams and charts. And some may choose to use multiple guides to gain different perspectives on the same topics. Remember, these guides are tools to aid your study, not to dictate it. They should complement your learning, not restrict it. So, use them as a starting point. But don't hesitate to dive deeper into any topics that you find particularly challenging. And don't forget, consistency is key. Regularly reviewing and studying your guides will help you retain the information and feel more confident as your exam approaches. Remember, the right study guide can be your secret weapon. 
Choose wisely, study consistently, and watch as your preparation propels you towards your goal of acing the USMLE Step 2 CK. Now that we have our resources, how do we make the most of them? That's a great question. Effective study strategies are the backbone of a successful USMLE Step 2 CK preparation journey. Let's dive right into it. One of the most effective study strategies is active learning. Active learning is about engaging with the material, not just passively reading or watching. It's about asking questions, discussing topics, and practicing clinical scenarios. It's about transforming the information into knowledge that sticks. One way to engage in active learning is through question banks. Question banks are treasure troves of clinical scenarios that mimic the actual USMLE Step 2 CK exam. They challenge your knowledge, expose your weak areas, and provide detailed explanations to help you understand the concepts better. Plus, they give you a feel for the exam format, which can significantly boost your confidence on the big day. Flashcards are another powerful tool for active learning. They're great for memorizing high-yield facts and concepts. They're portable, customizable, and perfect for quick study sessions during your downtime. Plus, the process of making flashcards itself is a form of active learning. Now let's talk about comprehensive preparation programs. A standout resource is the PASS program. This program provides a complete study plan, including lectures, question banks, and personalized feedback. It's like having a personal coach guiding you through your USMLE Step 2 CK journey. It's particularly helpful if you're feeling overwhelmed or unsure about where to start. Remember, studying for the USMLE Step 2. CK is not just about the number of hours you put in, it's about how you use those hours. It's about studying smart, not just hard. It's about understanding, not just memorizing. It's about turning knowledge into clinical skills. And most importantly, it's about believing in yourself. You've come this far, you've got what it takes. You can ace the USMLE Step 2 CK. With these strategies, you're well on your way to a high score. A well-structured study timeline can be your roadmap to success. Think of it as your personal GPS, guiding you through the vast landscape of medical knowledge. It helps you allocate your time, prioritize your efforts, and track your progress. Now let's talk about how to build one. Firstly, consider your starting point. Have you just begun your USMLE Step 2 CK journey? Or have you already conquered Step 1? For the beginners, you might need a longer runway to take off. A 6 to 8 months timeline is a good starting point. For those who've completed Step 1, you're already halfway there. A four to six months timeline should suffice. Next, divide your timeline into three main phases, content review, question-based learning, and final review. In the content review phase, focus on understanding the core concepts. This is where resources like first aid for the USMLE Step 2 CK come in handy. Then, transition to question-based learning. The goal here is to apply your knowledge through practice questions. Resources like question banks and flashcards can be game changers in this phase. Finally, allocate the last few weeks for final review. Revisit areas you struggled with and do more practice questions. This phase is all about refining your knowledge and boosting your confidence. Remember, this is just a sample timeline. Feel free to customize it based on your individual needs and learning pace. Maybe you need more time for content review, or perhaps you learn best through practice questions. That's perfectly fine. The key is to make your timeline flexible and adaptable, don't forget to incorporate regular breaks and self-care activities into your timeline. Studying for the USMLE Step 2. CK is a marathon, not a sprint. You need to keep your mind and body in optimal condition to stay focused and efficient. Remember, your timeline should work for you, not against you. It's not a rigid schedule that you must follow at all costs. It's a flexible roadmap that helps you navigate your way to success. So create your timeline, stick to it as best as you can and adjust it when necessary. You've got this. Beyond study guides, there are other valuable resources out there. Our journey through USMLE Step 2. CK preparation doesn't stop at study guides. There's an ocean of other resources that you can tap into. These can complement your study guides, providing a more comprehensive and engaging learning experience. One of these resources is online courses. Online courses are a great way to structure your learning. They provide a roadmap to follow breaking down complex topics into manageable chunks. Many of these courses are designed by experts in the field and offer a step-by-step -step approach to mastering the material required for the Step 2 CK. Then there are video lectures. These can be incredibly useful for visual learners, as they often come with animations or diagrams that can help clarify complex concepts. 
Video lectures can also provide a change of pace from heavy text-based learning, which can be a breath of fresh air during intense study periods. Discussion forums also offer a wealth of knowledge. These online platforms are teeming with students and professionals who have gone through the same journey you're embarking on. They're a great place to ask questions, seek advice, or simply find comfort in knowing you're not alone in this endeavor. Forums such as USMLE Forum, Student Doctor Network, and Prep4 USMLE can be quite helpful. Now the trick is to integrate these resources into your study plan seamlessly. You may find it beneficial to alternate between different types of resources to keep your learning dynamic and engaging. For instance, you could read a chapter from your study guide, then watch a video lecture on the same topic to reinforce your understanding. You could then test your knowledge by participating in relevant discussions on forums or completing relevant sections in your online course. However, remember that balance is key. While these resources are valuable, they can also be overwhelming if not used wisely. Make sure not to spread yourself too thin. Prioritize your resources based on your learning style and the areas you need to improve the most. Balance is key. Use these resources wisely without getting overwhelmed. Let's address some common questions and concerns you might have. One prevalent question is, how much time should I dedicate daily for studying? The answer to this varies, but as a rule of thumb, aim for at least five to six hours of focused study each day. Remember, it's about the quality of the hours you put in, not just the quantity. Another common concern is, I'm struggling with retaining information. What should I do? If you're having trouble remembering what you've studied, consider employing active recall methods. This could be through flashcards, group discussions, or teaching the material to someone else. You'll find that the more you engage with the material, the better you'll be able to remember it. Then there's the question, I'm feeling overwhelmed, is this normal? Yes it is. Studying for the USMLE Step 2. CK can be a daunting task, but remember, it's a marathon, not a sprint. It's okay to have moments of self-doubt or feel overwhelmed. The important thing is not to let these feelings deter you. When you feel this way, take a break, do something you enjoy, and then get back to it. And finally, how do I know when I'm ready to take the exam? This is a tricky one, you might never feel fully ready and that's okay. Use your practice test scores as a guideline. If you're consistently scoring within your target range, it's a good sign you're ready. Never hesitate to ask questions, it's a part of the learning process. Let's summarize what we've learned today. We've taken a deep dive into the world of the USMLE Step 2 CK, understanding its significance, especially for foreign medical graduates, We've seen how it differs from step one, focusing more on clinical knowledge and skills. We've explored where to find reliable study guides, placing special emphasis on first aid for the USMLE step two CK as an indispensable resource. We've also touched on other recommended guides and discussed how to choose the one that suits you best. We've shared effective study strategies specific to step two CK, underscoring the importance of active learning through question banks and flashcards. We've mentioned the value of comprehensive preparation programs like the PASS program. We've stressed the need for a structured study timeline, providing a sample one that can be adjusted based on whether you're a beginner or have already completed step one. We've also discussed the flexibility and personalization of this timeline based on your individual needs. We've introduced additional valuable study materials, such as online courses, video lectures and forums, and discussed how to integrate these resources into your study plan. We've shared tips on how to balance various resources without getting overwhelmed. Finally, we've addressed common questions and concerns, providing practical tips and motivational advice. Remember, each of these strategies should be adapted to your personal learning style. The key is to make the process work for you, not the other way around. Thank you for joining us today. Remember, your journey to becoming a doctor is a marathon, not a sprint. The road may be long and challenging, but with determination, resourcefulness, and the right guidance, you can conquer it. So, like this video, subscribe to our channel, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Your engagement fuels our commitment to providing valuable insights. Stay dedicated, keep striving, and we'll see you in our next video.